guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reina. Today I've got my sunscreen recommendation tag for you, which I've only included five of the best sunscreen that I think suitable for most of the people looking for different finishes, mineral, chemical, you know, kids, family members who doesn't like a sunscreen, which you don't have to have a lot of options there for you, unlike all my ranking videos, because I've included a lot in them. And these are the ones you can sort of use as a reference list if you want to pick a particular one up, I think you won't be regretted. So if you want to know what I've included, let's just keep on watching. I'm thinking which tag should I go first and I feel like maybe I should introduce the one that can use for the whole family. So this is the tag of sunscreen suitable for the whole family. And we've got the Keratin Kids Sun Care Milk. This is SPF 50 plus broad spectrum as um, sunscreen. It's non-ghosting, fragrance free and it's got 4 hours water resistant and this bottle comes within 200ml. I really like this one because this one absorbs into skin very quick and dries down pretty quick as well. It's not leaving any shine or matte. It's almost like a moisturizer like how you apply your moisturizer in the morning to sink into your skin and poof you don't notice you've applied a sunscreen. And what I like the best is when you go outside, even you exercise or sweat, you still don't notice that tackiness. Sometimes you feel particular behind your knees or your elbows, you know, start creasing, having the white cast. This one doesn't leave any of those. So I think it's suitable if you go on travel with the whole family. The kids can use it, um, the loved ones can use it, um, and I can also use it on my face under makeup. So it's just one bottle absolutely for everyone, and it's quite a affordable as well. Definitely check this out. The next tag I'll go the most sheer healthy glow finish sunscreen and I've got the Nacio Broad Spectrum SPF 50 plus. This has four hours water resistance and it's containing aloe vera and vitamin E as well. This one is not a fragrance free version unfortunately but it pretty much having no fragrance. I can't notice much of smell. Probably a little bit but too minimal for me to notice it. This one just gives the best sort of glow. I've tried a lot of chemical sunscreens and a lot of them having different levels of glow. This is the one I feel is the most subtle. You know you need to apply enough amount of sunscreen and when you do apply that enough amount, which I usually go with my whole length of my middle finger, if I go and apply my neck, I'll do two fingers. So that's pretty much three mil to five mil. So that's what you need for the face and neck. Um, a lot of time I found those sunscreen tend to be overly shiny because the um, correct amount that I applied to make them overly shiny and oily, sometimes even a bit greasy. But this is the one, it still looks very healthy, sheer glow, even I applied the correct amount. You can wear it by yourself or under makeup. So if you're someone loving a bit of a healthy, sheer glow finish with your sunscreen, you can actually skip a lot of um, glowing primer as well. So I do really like this one as a healthy finish. And this one is available from um, Chemist Warehouse, My Chemist, Priceline and Meyer and Debbie Jones. So it's very easy to access as well. So yeah, I do, I like this one to keep in my makeup bag just on the day when I don't want to have a full matte finish, I'll definitely go for this one. And speaking of full matte finish, I'm sure if you watched any of my previous videos, because I mention it every time when I do a review, you know what is my favorite matte finish sunscreen. This is the Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizer Invisible Matte SPF 50 Plus. It's coming with this pink color here. This is a non-water resistant formula. Their blue water resistant formula I found is a less matte as I would like to be. So that one is a bit shinier actually. Um, this is a very ultra lightweight hydrating sunscreen as it claims here and it just mattifies immediately once you apply it on your skin. It is perfect if you're someone loving using a matte foundation afterwards and then you don't want your sunscreen to overcome and to change your finished look of your makeup. So this will give you a full matte finish. So if you don't like that finish, this sunscreen is definitely not for you. But if you're like me, on the days, some days, I just want a very, very mattified finish even without makeup this is definitely the one to go so i do really loving this one and i know a lot of men also loving this finish because they just don't like the oily greasy feeling as well so definitely check this out and share with your loved ones my next tag is the best mineral sunscreen yet i can found in australia drugstore 
not actually a drugstore, just in Australia, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, this is not something you can get from the Chemist Warehouse, Priceline, Maya or Debbie Jones. This is the Polos Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Tinted SPF 30. Um, what I talk, when I talk about mineral sunscreen, I mentioned in my video, I need to stop reminding you guys about my videos. I'm not promoting, it's just, I'm trying to remember what I said. I mentioned a lot of the drugstore uh, mineral sunscreens are still having a lot of areas that can be improved that I couldn't find a perfect one and yet this is the best I can found that I can purchase in Australia and it's not overly expensive. So if you do know some really good drugstore mineral sunscreen or even a mixed chemical and mineral sunscreen, definitely leave your comment down below. I'm so needing to try more. I feel like I haven't done enough study or testing on the pure mineral sunscreen that I can purchase in Australia. I tried a few from Invisible Zinc and they all came back very disappointed so I I feel like I need to give a go one more time for other products from their line but I'm really hesitating I just don't want to waste my money when I already know two out of two are failed but anyway this is the Polar's Choice one and this one got a bit of tint the tint within this one is so minimal that's just enough to overcome that white cast and it shouldn't change your skin color and it shouldn't change the foundation color that you choose even you apply this one. So I feel like it just evens out your skin um, hyperpigmentation area so if you have an uneven skin tone it just evens out but it won't change your skin color or at least the shade or the undertone it's not giving you like a color tinted moisturizer sort of feeling so minimal and this is very light weighted so easy to absorb into your skin it does have an SPF 30 but SPF 30 covers 97% of sun protection compared to 98 from a SPF 50 so it's really such minimal differences uh, on top of that this one also having some antioxidant and resveratrol so it's more like a moisturizer and that's how I feel when I apply this I'm very light weighted but it has a bit of tint and it's a full mineral sunscreen and that's why I'm not using this to recommend for the whole family because the tint can be a bit of too much particularly if you use on um, saying the loved ones or Kids, I don't think my sister like anything with any color, like any tint, or even my grandma, they prefer a non-colored virgin sunscreen. But if you're wanting to try a mineral sunscreen that it won't sort of peels or leaving a lot of white cast and it's not heavy, easy to absorb, definitely check this one out. And I mentioned before, Polo's Choice, they're always having like 20% off for the first item that you purchase and they always provide free shipping in Australia. So you don't have to pay the full price, which is actually a bonus to save you some money. All right, come to the final tag. And this is the sunscreen that received the highest average score. So I think this is the sunscreen MVP. What I mean by MVP is when I do my rankings or with all my sunscreen this one seems to have a pretty good average high score in all categories it's not like the highest in particular one area but this seems like average out to be pretty good and this is the cancer console sensitive sunscreen this one is SPF 50 plus and it has four hours water resistance and it is fragrance free and also paraben free also containing aloe vera and vitamin E for sensitivity skins this is a lotiony texture sunscreen it's quite easy to apply and it's quite easy to absorb it does leave a bit of tackiness like very minimal and having a bit of sheer glow on top of that this one also having zinc oxidized 5 percent so it's a mixture of chemical and mineral sunscreen active ingredients which further just to calming sensitivity skins and try to create as little as irritation as possible because of the zinc oxidite within i don't think you will notice as a white cast but you will realize your skin seems to be a bit brighter than before and i think that's coming from that zinc oxidite i do really like it to use as a primer because it just even my skin tones um, and I think it sort of covers some of my hyperpigmentation. It's just overall brightening up everything. But if you don't like that sort of white cast effect, you might want to try the tinted version from Polo's Choice or just use the keratin one because this one's fragrance free as well suitable for sensitive to skins and no white cast and no greasy feelings at all this one's got a little bit of techiness within all right so that's everything for my five most recommended sunscreen tech video that you can find from australian drugstore 
such a long title. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I just want to minimize to a minimal list to recommend it to you so you don't have to watch all those videos. And by doing this, I literally compare all the products in different reviews that I've done before. So if you have any questions in between different products in different videos, now you know how I feel and which one is actually better. Um, I hope this video is helpful and informative. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing my channel, share with friends. I hope you all have or had a great day and please stay safe and stay positive. I know I'm wearing in winter clothes but we're in spring Australia so I'm looking forward to summer and I can wear this sunscreen. I wear it every day but I can wear it more and enjoy the sun and spending some time with my family during the holiday season and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>